The Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute, BTVI, has taken up the mantle to reduce the growing unemployment rate. Many persons, in the midst of COVID-19, are realizing that they must retrain or retool if they wish to re-enter the job market. The Minister of Education, Jeffrey Lloyd, agrees. In this environment where the world is turned upside down and some businesses may never come back and some businesses will be different when they do come back, uh, many persons will have to uh, re-engineer themselves. They're going to have to re-equip themselves. But BTVI is an excellent option where you can go and take certificate courses, where you can go and become certified in a variety of disciplines. And I do encourage, again, persons who may consider that schooling has been passed for them to really reconsider because they're going to have to continue to learn and to continue to acquire new skills in order to negotiate the 21st century. I had the opportunity to sit down with the president of BTVI, Dr. Robert Robertson, who outlined the significant role that the Institute was playing in retraining persons to re-enter the job market. We're in the midst of a pandemic. COVID-19 has resulted in many persons losing their jobs. And now persons are thinking about having to retool, pick up a new skill or a new trade. How has BTVI been able to respond to this new demand on higher education? It's a really good question. And it applies to educational entities, not only in the Bahamas, but you know everywhere. I mean, I was just looking at a report from the U.S. that said university enrollments are down, college enrollments are down, mm -hmm. and significantly. Uh, people are worried about putting food on their table, you know, uh, what I'm going to do next week. There's just too many things happening for people. And so what we're trying to do is emphasize to, to the, uh, you know, students that we deal with that there are opportunities available now that will position you for jobs in the near future. I mean, I think the Bahamas clearly has handled the COVID uh, pandemic much better than many places, frankly, uh, but we still have some time to go. So what we're trying to do is to have a series of short courses in the key disciplines that we think are important for the new economy uh, post COVID. And so we're really gonna focus on that in the first half of 2021. Shorter courses is the focus of many of the applicants in order to qualify for a job or quickly get started in a business. We think that going forward there will increasingly be a demand for virtual courses. I mean we're in virtual now and I appreciate that some people complain about uh, virtual courses but going forward my, my uh, sense is that we will not switch a light and just go back to ground exactly as it was in the past. It just won't happen. Uh, we'll, we'll continue to be blended, we'll continue to have courses that are partially online, partially on ground. Tuition grants have opened the door to new career for O'Neill Charlton, who's studying Information Technology Management at BTVI. I was working on my old job and I got injured on the job in 2013 and I spent about six years home just trying to recover, trying to get myself back together and it was some of the hardest years of my life. And there's no words to explain now. And one day I heard um, BTBI was being opening up to students and they had a tuition grant that they was offering. So I took it upon myself to come in, apply myself to re register and see if it was true. And as I came in, I realized it was true and I got in, I got accepted and I began in my classes and I, came out to go in electronics. And then after speaking with one of the IT teachers, he, he gave me some advice and he brought me over to IT. And honestly, I would say he changed my life and the end of the school and learning IT and changed my whole mindset from where I'm being to where I'm going. And he helped me and he advised me straight through my years being there. And it just, it's just been a wonderful experience. Well, it was an experience so wonderful that Charlton was granted an opportunity to study abroad. Being a part of the IT program, I got accepted for the scholarship, the ELAP um, scholarship, and it allowed me to go to Canada, to a college by the name of Fanshawe, and to get the experience and to take up some classes, which I had done on um, cybersecurity, web security, cryptography and ethical hacking. 
and the teachers, the knowledge, the experience, it was breathtaking. You know, I had no idea there was a scholarship um, other than the one I was currently on. And when I got um, nominated and accepted for the scholarship, it really changed my life. And going there and getting that experience is something that I would recommend for everybody the least get over once to try to go to a college and try to get that experience, that exposure from another country. It's, it's worthwhile to bring back and try to assist. What triggered my head the most was some of the similarity and some of the, the work I was getting from my college here and the college abroad and the fast pace there's going just like here and the real knowledge there was disseminating from the classes and the teachers was nice, you know, the students was even nice from students from whether it be from India or Russia or Vietnam or China. We were all in one class, we all worked together on projects, we, we had a wonderful time and some of them I still stay in contact with, you know, as friends from around the world. Jobs and technology have been offering a steady source of income for many persons, according to the president. Government has um, encouraged us to develop programmer training through an agreement with Cisco. And so we now have a program where we're looking to recruit 100 Bahamian students to take programmer training and be certified globally by Cisco. Now, if you look at the U.S. Department of Labor data site, that's the number one job available in the U.S. right now that they can't find people for. Now, I mean, say so you can find people for them, but they're not skilled. Mm -hmm. You have to have the right skills. So that job pays on average, someone who has those credentials, $100,000 a year. So there are good jobs out there, but again, you have to have the right skills, and that's really what we're focusing on at BTBI. Clearly, technology is providing a viable alternative route for persons looking to retool. Just the desire for, for um, the education is still there, but it seems to be you have a little depressing um, vibe, so to speak, and so while everything is available, you find that a lot of people just you know they're they're scared um they 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 they, um, they don't even really want to think about uh, much but then the people who are actually thinking that hey look this is an opportunity well we're seeing now students now i, I don't want to do two or three classes i want to do five i want to do overload so we have it's 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 a mixed bag um we have people who who see the opportunity and are trying to take advantage of it you know and we have a lot of students like that because um, right now I think our enrollment is at about 2,000 students typically it's about 2,500 3,000 but that's in our main programs. Dean of the IT department Mr. Anthony Ramtula has highlighted the significance of the technology industry. BTVI is career centric so when you come to BTVI immediately we start to train you for a job. Um, that's the difference between us and, and uh, an academic institution, uh, you know. Um, so in the IT department, um, we are very, let's say, um, focused on um, standards, international standards, um, international leveling. Um, so much so that, um, you know, everything is either backed by CompTIA, um, Cisco or Microsoft. So our students don't only leave with a BTVI certificate, they normally leave with some industry um, certification. Now, with this pandemic, um, um, if you do a little bit of research, you'll realize that um, the IT industry um, was one of the few industries that um, the demand actually went up um, um, because everything went digital. So one, there's a demand, even though we have to social distance and all the rest of it. Um, from B at BTVI, we have a lot of programs um, geared towards getting you ready for some sort of job, it, especially in IT. Um, so I, at BTVI, we have basically three concentrations. We have the, the, for the networking people, the network engineers. We have the software development for software engineers and we have the IT management. Um, those are our three degrees. 
and um, with these degrees um, we have certificates and diplomas so we have a program that's kind of stackable so a student could come in here for one semester and leave with a BTVS certificate and in that certificate they would have learned um, you know um, some web development um, they would have obtained a CompTIA certification and they're kind of after one semester they're, you know they're, they're employable and this could be done online. Ramtula believes BTVI offers opportunities that are comparable to schools and colleges abroad. Um, our students, you know, they go off to the States and or Canada and they say, oh wow, we're doing the same thing. We're using the same tools, we're um, at the same standard, we have the same support. Um, we have major, major support from um, Cisco and CompTIA. Um, so, during the pandemic, it, it can be an, an, um, an opportunity for some people because you're not working. Education is pretty much free. Um, you could enroll, sign up for a few classes, you're doing it online. So you could still work if you got a job, but you could also, you know, um, retool. Um, on top of that, um, we, we created a program a couple months ago um, called a Nano Degree. And this nano degree basically was comprised of five courses um, that could be done. Um, each course would only take about um, five weeks, and they're they're not a full program, so they're more of introduction. Um, they're an opportunity to allow um, people to be di become digital literate and to sample what BTV has to offer. So, um, in fact, um, we have had about 350 students during the pandemic, and these are professionals in some cases, um, complete that program just to be ready for the digital world that, that we're moving in. So I'd say um, we have a lot of opportunities here. Um, the only way to find out if there's one for you as a student is to sign up or to come and speak to an advisor because we have many programs. Um, the, the IT program, for example, is combined with electronics. Um, we have a, a very nice program um, that, 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 that deals with IoT, the Internet of Things. And so we have the connectivity between the electronics and your, your communication. For Charlton, a mature student, he encourages persons to not be afraid of returning to the classroom, even if they've left high school decades before. And I would say to everyone out there that don't be don't be scared about it. Like you, if you're anyone like me, to feel the pressure to say, okay, I've been with a high school for so long, and I don't even have the confidence in myself that I can learn in the day's environment uh, in 2021. Don't let that pressure get to you. Don't, you're bigger than that. You could overshadow that. And it only takes you to have one step to come in and to apply yourself and to get a new trade, a new degree, new knowledge in life. It will change your life tremendously like it did for mine. Have hope and to keep fighting. And no matter even the pandemic going on, we'll all get through this like we get through anything. All of the universities today now are offering free courses. Just about every university is offering free courses. You need to pay for the certificate. But if you just want, and of course there's YouTube. You can learn anything on YouTube. I mean, you could go on YouTube and learn literally anything for free. So in this day and environment, nobody's gonna have to tell you. You know, if you want to survive, much less thrive. But certainly if you want to survive, you better take the initiative and start doing for yourself because the opportunities are there, the resources are there, and no one is going to come and put them in your lap. Well, that's the conclusion of part one of a two-part series of BTVI's push to retool, retrain, and equip the behaving populace to participate in an ever-evolving employment and entrepreneurial sector. This is Denise Pratt for AirTalk.